Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. Today, I am going to share with you vintage necklaces that sell for thousands of dollars. These are going to include real gold, real silver, as well as some costume pieces that might take you by surprise. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so in this video the lowest I'm going to show you is actually right at $900 and we are going to go all the way up to over $12,000. All of these items were sold on eBay. I will let you know if they were buy it now for their listed price or if they were on auction. So up first is a piece of costume jewelry. This is a Mazer gold green and lilac rhinestone necklace. This one was an auction. It got 11 bids and sold for $900. Here you can see it up close. Beautiful, beautiful green and lilac stones. Here's the back showing that it is clearly marked Mazer. And you can see the straight screws there showing the craftsmanship on this piece. All right, up next is something that there are several brands that have necklaces like these. Most of them do seem to sell for higher dollar. So this is a Melicio Rodriguez. This is a Taxco Mexico sterling silver enamel reticulated snake set. So this is the necklace, the earrings, as well as the bracelet. It sold for $995. Here up close, you can see the really cool red in the snake's eyes. And then here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked TA114, which is for Taxico. And it also has the initials MRJ and it says Mexico. Up next is a vintage photo, kind of a locket but not really so watch out for vintage photographs this one is gold tone it is not solid gold so just remember that and watch for those tiny photos this is a vintage antique swivel metal necklace gold tone this one sold for 990 dollars here you can see the swivel action there and then here it is with a ruler showing it is actually a little bit under two inches tall all right, next is a turquoise piece, and I definitely want to point out that sterling silver and turquoise can be extremely valuable. I think most people know this, so finding sterling and turquoise pieces on the lower end probably going to be pretty rare, but definitely keep an eye out just in case you come across them. So this is a vintage William Delio turquoise and silver necklace. This one is beautiful with kind of the repeated circles. Here it is up close. And then here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Delilio and you would be able to easily identify it. All right, up next is a piece of Christian Dior. And you would think I'm never gonna find Christian Dior. I will tell you, I found a Christian Dior crab that sold for over $400 in an online auction lot in a little plastic baggie. So it is out there. It might be rare, but it definitely is out there. So this is a vintage open work set of three pieces, necklace, brooch, and earrings. It is Christian Dior Germany. It sold for $995. Here you can see the detail on the necklace as well as the earrings and brooch. And then here on the back of the earring, you can see it is clearly marked with Christian Dior. Next is another costume piece that I think is absolutely beautiful. It's got enamel work. It's really, really bright. Would be perfect for spring or summer and it was a great sale over a thousand dollars this is a stunning vintage ian st Gieler necklace earrings set spring flowers this one sold for eleven hundred and forty seven dollars and forty nine cents here you can see it up close so ian st Gieler did come up multiple times on my high dollar brooch video beautiful beautiful hand detailed beadwork as well as the beautiful flowers and here is a back showing that this set is signed so you would be able to identify it Right, we have got some more costume jewelry coming up it is a brand that i'm familiar with it is a brand i have found i've not found any worth this much this one is an eisenberg 
This is a vintage Eisenberg emerald and diamante rhinestone necklace bracelet and earring set. This one sold for $1,195. Here it is up close. Beautiful, beautiful bracelet and matching necklace with kind of the layered teardrop. And then here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Eisenberg. All right, up next is a beautiful, beautiful art glass piece. It does have that OOAK and the title, which is original one of a kind. This is a vintage Sorrel Originals multi-cluttered art glass parure necklace and earring set. Beautiful, beautiful work here. This one sold for $1,200. Here you can see them on the stands. This is just an absolutely stunning art glass piece. Again, this is another costume jewelry piece that sold for over $1,000. All right. One of the top brands that came up when I did my high dollar brooch videos was Juliana and it came up in the necklaces as well. So Juliana is not marked on the actual pieces because they had paper hang tags and most of those are gone. And I want you to pay particular attention to this stone because this stone itself sells very, very well. This is a vintage Juliana watermelon Rivoli rhinestone necklace earring bracelet set this one sold for twelve hundred dollars look at this laid out these stones are just absolutely beautiful with the green red and yellow and here are the earrings up close to with the light shining through they're just absolutely stunning so keep your eye out for that watermelon colored stone all right, next is another set. So definitely watch out for sets when you're at estate sales or if you happen to see them at thrift stores. My thrift stores wouldn't have necklace sets like these, but I have found some amazing ones at the flea market. So this next one is a vintage necklace and earring set signed Joe Maz, Joseph Mazur. This is a beautiful blue set. So here you can see it was an auction, got 67 bids, sold for $1,213. Absolutely amazing. Here it is up close. You can see beautiful, beautiful baby blue stones. And here are the earrings up close as well. Just really, really detailed and beautiful work on that. And here is the back showing that it is marked Mazer. All right, next is another brand I have found, but again, I have not found any worth this much. This next one is a vintage rare Kramer necklace and bracelet set. This one was an auction, got five bids, sold for $1,225. Here it is up close, beautiful, beautiful leaf stones, as well as the blue dangle stones. You can see this one actually has the original paper tag with it. And here it is up close, just showing the beautiful detail work on that and that was a great sale at over twelve hundred dollars this next one is a name that i was not familiar with and as i said at the beginning i did put in precious metals such as sterling silver and some gold because some of these designers these pieces are going well over what the actual weight of the item is it is the designer that is causing the increase in the price of this it is not the weight of the jewelry so this is a vintage rebecca collins sterling silver chunky statement necklace really really pretty necklace here sold for twelve hundred and ninety nine dollars you can see it up close here it does have different colored stones that are encased and dipped in silver and here on the back you can see it is signed rebecca collins dallas texas Next is another costume piece. This is a name I'm very familiar with. I actually have a few of her sets listed in my eBay store right now. This next piece is from Miriam Haskell. So this is a Miriam Haskell vintage gilt butterfly green grapoy glass unsigned so this was not a marked piece this one sold for thirteen hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty cents here it is up close these leaves are just absolutely stunning they are definitely big this is definitely a statement piece and that was a great sale at thirteen hundred dollars this next brand was actually at the top of the brooch video it had the highest 
selling brooches in the research video that I did a couple of months ago and it is coming up in the necklaces as well. So this is a rare vintage Shriner rhinestone necklace. This one was an auction, got 22 bids, sold for $1,386. Here it is up close, just beautiful, beautiful detailed work on that. And here again, you can see how vibrant the green is, as well as the small stones around it. I do not believe this was a marked piece. I believe this was unmarked, and that was a great sale at over $1,300. All right, Miriam Haskell coming in again. This is actually with a clear piece. So I used to not pay much attention to the clear rhinestones, but some of them can be very, very valuable, as you are going to see with this next set. This is a Miriam Haskell set, necklace earrings, a rare gilt, clear crystal rhinestone. It is signed. It sold for $1,435.65. Here it is up close. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, classic clear rhinestone set. And nothing overly impressive about that. Here is the back showing it was clearly signed Miriam Haskell. Another name that we saw in the brooch video, this is Trafari and it is Alfred Philippe. Alfred Philippe had some of the highest brooches in our brooch video and here he has a necklace. This is a rare Trafari Philippe red crystal sterling choker. This is a beautiful necklace. This one sold for $1,475. Here it is up close. Absolutely amazing crystals and this again just absolutely stunning. Here is the back showing that it is a clearly marked Trafari. Next is a brand that I think most of us know is a very very high dollar and the price tag comes along with the name. This is a vintage rare Givenchy Mogul satin gold tone necklace an earring set. This one sold for $1,499. Here it is up close. This is a pretty, again, pretty simple. I don't feel like this is over the top. And here's the back showing it is clearly marked Givenchy. And you would be able to identify it. This next one I feel is both simple and elegant at the same time. It is a multi-strand, five-strand, and I've seen quite a bit of multi-strand costume jewelry that does sell for very good money. This is a vintage early Coppola Itapo Italian five-strand necklace with two bracelets as well as clip-on earrings. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful blue. It's really cool how it goes from clear to lighter blue to the darker blue in the middle. This one sold for $1,494. Here it is up close. You can see the connector there on the side. Absolutely amazing necklace. Here is the back showing it is clearly signed as well as the back of the earrings. All right, up next is another Shriner and this piece is a little bit different. It's not a traditional necklace, but it sold for over $1,500. This is a rare 1950s vintage signed Shriner. This it's kind of a brooch on a chain. It sold for $1,505. It was an auction, got 28 bids. Here up close, you can see this is really big, definitely like a 3D dome. And here on the back, you can see this one was clearly marked. And then we have another Trafari. This one is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. This one is a Trafari fruit salad moon glow acorn glass. This one was an auction, got 14 bids, sold for $1,524.90. Here is the necklace up close showing beautiful, beautiful acorns. So a very small, very detailed beads. And then here on the back, you can see it is signed Trafari. This next set I'm going to assume is an unmarked piece of a jewelry maker. I do not know who it is. I do not see the name on the listing. So those of you that know a little bit more about jewelry than I do, if you know who this piece is by, definitely let us know down in the comments. This is a five piece vintage rhinestone set. It sold for $1,545. Here's the bracelet up close, absolutely beautiful. And here's the back. 
back showing it is not signed and then here are the earrings so this one actually reminds me of a florenza piece that i found at the flea market my piece was signed but this one definitely looks very very similar to that one and then we have another miriam haskell this one is a classic pearl necklace by Miriam Haskell and great detail and workmanship in this necklace. This is a Miriam Haskell pearl Perer rare vintage dangle three piece set. This one sold for $1,572. Here you can see up close just the beautiful detail with the multiple sizes of pearls. It does have the necklace as well as a bracelet and earring and here's a close-up of the back. You can see that all of the pieces were clearly marked Miriam Haskell. Next is another brand that I found in my crab brooches that I got. If you are unfamiliar, I bought hundreds of crab brooches and had some of the most amazing brands in there and they were sold as costume jewelry. I only paid $2 a piece and they sold for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This next maker is Hattie Carnegie. This is a Hattie Carnegie set, rare gilt green glass grippoy, rhinestone cover set signed. This one sold for $1,572.50. Here you can see up close all of these pieces are absolutely stunning. This is definitely a statement set in my opinion and it was a great sale at $1,572. Up next is a beautiful piece and you need to know this stone because the stone by itself is valuable no matter what setting it is in. So this is butterscotch amber. This is a large antique natural egg yolk butterscotch amber. This one was an auction. It got 32 bids and sold for $1,575. Here it is up close, just showing that really, really pretty butterscotch color on the amber. So keep your eye out for any jewelry that contains stones of this color as it sells very very high up next is a vintage hobie this one again another brand very very prevalent in the high dollar brooches and their vintage jewelry sells very very well this is a vintage signed hobie grapoy poured glass this one was an auction got 61 bids sold for 1600 dollars very very great sale here it is up close amazing amazing detail again this is another set with the necklace bracelet and earrings next is an armadillo necklace that is the style of this necklace this one is a sterling silver necklace as i said there is going to be sterling there is also going to be gold up until this point all of these with the exception of a couple have been costume jewelry so this is a rare vintage manuel altamirano 925 sterling armadillo necklace this one sold for 15 $199.96. Here's the back. Very, very pretty kind of discs interwined. And here's the back of that necklace showing that it is clearly signed. And then we have another Yves Saint Laurent. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece and there are going to be more. This is a vintage Yves Saint Laurent by Robert Goosens playing card charm necklace this one sold for sixteen hundred dollars here on the back you can clearly see the ysl which is the standard marking for yves saint laurent and here is the necklace showing it has all of the different suits of for playing cards as charms on this necklace up next is a boucher. This is another one I had a crab brooch of. And this is another one that there are quite a few higher dollar jewelry pieces from. So this is a vintage boucher choker necklace with earrings. This one sold for $695.75. Here it is up close. Beautiful, beautiful choker necklace. Classic look and great, great sale up next is tiffany and i have bought several tiffany items from online auctions the prices typically do go higher but it, sometimes there's room for profit on them if you do research on that specific piece i would be very very careful about that because the pieces are very specific as far as the value 
Now, this is a Tiffany & Co. 1996 Rare Sterling Silver Bamboo Toggle Necklace. This one sold for $1,699. Here it is up close. You can see they did photograph that it does have the original box, and that was a great sale. All right, we have another Miriam Haskell. This is a beautiful layered piece and absolutely stunning. Miriam Haskell has some lower dollars, so be very, very careful again how much you are paying for these items and make sure you're researching them to the exact piece that you have or you might end up overpaying. This is a Miriam Haskell necklace. This is layers of leaves and pearls. Beautiful, beautiful choker statement bib necklace. This one sold for $1,789 and that is a great sale. All right, we've got some more Juliana coming in and this is a beautiful, beautiful pink stone. This is a D&E Juliana pink Rivoli rhinestone necklace earrings brooch. So this is another three-piece set. It sold for $1,800. Here it is up close. Beautiful, beautiful bling on that. Very, very sparkly. And here's the whole set laid out. This is an absolutely gorgeous set. All right, I would be remiss if I did not include some Bakelite because there are some Bakelite pieces that sell for very, very high dollar. I actually learned not long ago from my friend Lily, who I go thrifting with, that vintage Bakelite dice sells for hundreds of dollars. I was very surprised. That was new knowledge to me. I had no clue they could go this high. This next piece is a Bakelite necklace. This is a vintage Cherry Amber Bakelite. This one was an auction. It came from Australia. It got 13 bids and sold for $1,829.43. Here it is up close showing the beads are graduated, so they are going from small to large. And that is a great sale coming in very, very close to $2,000. Up next is another snake necklace that sold for almost $2 thousand dollars i actually first saw the snake necklace sets on the antique road show i think i would have looked at these whether i knew or not but now i definitely would pay very very close attention if i came upon one uh, har cobra snake peru rare vintage sign necklace and earring set as well as the bracelet it sold for 19 hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents here the set is up close this is a beautiful beautiful green snake along with the rhinestones and the twisted gold necklace all right we have another hobie and this one is another unsigned hobie in my experience from doing these research videos about half of the hobie are unmarked pieces so you would need to be able to have enough knowledge to be able to identify those i do not possess that knowledge i do use google lens so that is something i would try if something was really spectacular and caught my eye to try and identify the maker so this is a vintage unsigned hobie filigree necklace this is a pendant and brooch as well as the necklace sold for $1,950. Here it is up close. The work on this is just absolutely amazing with the filigree in between those really, really pretty blue rhinestones and absolutely great sale close to $2,000. Right, another snake necklace just shy of $2,000 absolutely insane this is a uh, malicio rodriguez another tax co another sterling this is an enamel reticulated snake set it is the necklace the bracelet as well as the earrings this one sold for one thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars here is the back of that snake necklace you can see it is clearly marked on the snake head here is the clasp showing it is also marked there and i did want to show you guys up close these these earrings that are snake heads they are pretty cool up next is a beautifully hand constructed stanley Hagler piece absolutely stunning detail on this piece pay attention to what these look like that way if you are out looking to purchase you would be able to identify them this is a stanley Hagler molded green baroque pearl vintage drippy necklace this one 
sold for $1,999. Here it is up close. Very, very beautiful necklace, beautiful beaded work on this. And here's the back showing it is clearly signed. And now we are getting to $2,000 and higher. The first one that sold for $2,000 is another Miriam Haskell. So this is a vintage Miriam Haskell brass green jade dangle necklace. This one sold for $2,000. Here it is up close. You can see the beautiful brass work along with the jade stones there. And here it is on the back showing it is clearly signed. Is coming in over two thousand dollars this next one was an auction this is a vintage sign shriner this is a necklace and earring set this one got 56 bids and sold for two thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars here it is up close a beautiful beautiful necklace here is the back showing that it is clearly stamped shriner and then here's the complete set showing the earring this was just a stunning stunning set this next one is a name that I have not come across. I am not familiar with. It is another sterling silver piece. I wanted to show you because again, these pieces are selling for way more than they would just for the weight of the piece. So I think these designers are someone that you should keep in mind if you are looking to source jewelry. This is a rare Art Nouveau Paul Telge Germany Viking Revival Silver Cross Pendant Necklace. This one sold for $2,299. Here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Paul Telge, so you would be able to identify it. Next, we have a beautiful Art Nouveau necklace, Simple with Daisies. This one is a 14 karat gold necklace, sold for a great price. This is an antique Art Nouveau 14 karat gold river pearl. This is a Crossman Estate sold for $2,399. Here it is up close. These are just beautiful, beautiful daisies and an absolutely simple yet stunning necklace. All right, we've got more butterscotch amber coming in at $2,400. Keep an eye out for butterscotch amber. This is an antique natural butterscotch amber beaded necklace. It is 64.9 grams. So when you get into some of these higher dollar amber necklaces, people are going to want to know the exact weight in grams. This one sold for $2,400. Here up close, you can see the beautiful detail on the natural amber beads. And that was a great sale coming in at $2,400. All right, next is some coral beads. There were a lot of natural coral beaded necklaces that sold for well over $2,000. So keep your eye out for coral. This is an antique red coral necklace, natural undyed. The clasp is 14 karat gold. This one sold for $2,460. Here is the clasp up close. And you can see only the clasp is gold there. The rest of the beads are strung on string. So not much gold in here and an absolutely great sale at $2,400. All right, this next one, I only put one in even though there were a lot of them in the higher dollar necklaces because of two reasons. One, they are going to be extremely rare to find without being priced very high. And two, they could be faked. So be very, very careful if you are finding these and try to find someone that is knowledgeable enough to let you know whether they are real or imitation. So this next brand is Chanel. This is a vintage Chanel aquamarine zircon blue crystal chiclet runway satoir necklace. This one sold for $2,500, absolutely amazing sale. Here on the back, you can see it was clearly marked Chanel with the double C's and this one is from 1981. The next one brings up a point that if you can find a piece that is shown in a book about that brand, those pieces will bring quite a bit more money than pieces that are not seen in books. And you will see the seller does use book piece in the title. I think that is extremely important. This is a vintage Trafari, Jewels of India, Evita necklace, glass pearls. This is a book piece. This one sold for $2,695. Here it is up close showing they do have the original box. This is a beautiful five string 
beaded pearls, beautiful, beautiful green jewel. And here you can see the seller did include the actual picture from the book page from Trafari showing this piece. Here on the back, you can see it is very, very clearly marked. Right, another Yves Saint Laurent piece coming in close to $3,000. This is a vintage Yves Saint Laurent necklace. Beautiful, beautiful bib choker necklace. This one sold for $2,750. Absolutely amazing sale. Again, these pieces are marked with the classic YSL. Some more watermelon stones. My Florenza piece I found was watermelon. It sold for $300 in less than two weeks. I got lucky and found it at my little rural local flea market for only $20 dollars keep an eye out for these watermelon stones they go for big money this is a vintage watermelon tourmaline sliced diamond necklace this one is 18 karat gold so that definitely added to the value of this one this one sold for two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars here it is up close i just wanted to show you these beautiful beautiful watermelon stones so you know what to look out for we are jumping up by fifteen hundred dollars this next piece of sterling silver that sold for forty five hundred dollars so you need to know this designer this is a rare matl matilde pula sterling silver and amethyst a dangle bracelet and necklace set this one sold for four thousand five hundred dollars here it is up close beautiful work beautiful amethyst stone and i do want to show you here it is marked with the matl on the bottom of that necklace and then here on the bracelet you can see it's also marked with the matl mexico sterling and each individual link is marked with silver and then we have another sterling piece coming in from mexico so a lot of the sterling mexico pieces don't sell for big money and you get into known desires those are the pieces that can go for big bucks so this one is a vintage sterling mexican modernist necklace by hector aguilar with black stones this one was an auction got 28 bids sold for five thousand two hundred and eleven dollars and eleven cents here it is up close beautiful very very bold design on this with the black stones and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked with the h a in the middle of that made in mexico and sterling on the bottom all right we have got another mexico piece but this one is 18 karat gold this is a vintage mexico signed william piece this one sold for six thousand three hundred dollars it had 14 bids here you can see it is clearly marked with the ws it is clearly marked 18 karat both on the necklace as well as the earring and here it is up close showing these beautiful very big very bold clear stones all right we are up to the top two these are very very high dollar sales Again, they are out there. You could find them. I see stories all the time and I hear from people who found pieces just like this out while they were doing regular garage sailing or state sales. They are out there. So this next one is a vintage two strand carved imperial topaz, 2D fruity. The clasp is 14 karat gold. It sold for $8,995. Here are the beads up close. Look very, very close because each bead is individually carved. Here is the clasp showing the 14 karat. And then here you can see the beautiful little tutti fruity mix of stones there on the necklace. All right, we are up to the highest and it is a Tiffany. This is a Tiffany & Co. 18 karat red coral choker. This one is natural yellow gold vintage. It was an estate fine. This one sold for $12,500. Here it is up close. Beautiful, beautiful, very large coral statement centerpiece. 
and here you can see it is marked Tiffany and this seller did include the certificate of appraisal and this was appraised at $18,000 so I want you guys to pay attention because it only sold for $12,000 that is $6,000 less than it was appraised for so the important thing with a lot of this high dollar jewelry especially if you are getting it to resell is knowing that an appraisal value is not the current market value so you need to be aware there can be a very big difference between the two appraisals typically are for replacement value for insurance purposes not necessarily to guide you as far as a reselling price so i hope you guys enjoyed this i had fun researching these necklaces most of them were three-piece sets so definitely watch out for the sets I hope you are having a great week. Happy Wednesday. I will see you on Friday with another video at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you hung out with me in the premiere this long, thank you. I will see you on Friday.